This activity isn't a brain teaser, but it is a fun experiment that can teach you how rockets work when they're in deep space. It can be pretty messy, so you might want to do this in a kitchen or a bathroom. First, I'm going to inflate my balloon in a bottle and plug the hole with the rubber stopper. The balloon stays inflated. Next, I'm going to fill my balloon up with water. Now, what's going to happen when I take the stopper out? Here's a hint. I told you to do it in a bathroom. Ugh! Ugh! That was fun. This happened because when I pulled the plug on the bottle, the air rushed in and squeezed the balloon. And while doing this is really fun, it can also teach you how rockets work. Normally, when a rocket is on Earth waiting to launch, it's pretty easy to get rocket fuel from the tank to the engine. One reason is because scientists build rockets so that their engines are below the fuel tanks. And that means gravity can help pull all the fuel into pumps that move it toward the engine, like how gravity pulls you toward the ground. In space, though, rockets don't experience much gravity at all. So engineers needed to come up with a way to get rocket fuel to the engine. And the way they decided to do it actually works a lot like this activity. First, the engineers start with a fuel tank, which can look kind of like my plastic bottle. Then they put all the rocket fuel in what's called a bladder. In our experiment, you can think of the balloon like the bladder and the water like the rocket fuel. And finally, they pump gas into the bottom of the fuel tank, just like how I let a bunch of air into the bottom of my bottle. That squeezes the bladder, pushing all of the fuel toward the engine so the rocket can keep on moving. This is a special piece of inside information that a lot of people who are not rocket scientists do not know about. So if you show this brain teaser to your friends and family, you can teach them this secret too.